Hey guys, I haven't been making videos for the last week because I've lost my voice, but um, I hate leaving you guys for too long without a new video, so I'm going to keep this one short and sweet, but I did want to talk about the discard and how the narcissist's discard is always temporary. It is never the end forever if you are relying on the discard from a narcissist. They will always come back. They will always attempt to hoover you. They will always make sure that you are still on their roster. And the only way to guarantee to get rid of the narcissist permanently forever for good, for good, for good, is for you to be the one to discard them. And let me tell you, it is much more satisfying when you are the one to put the final nail in the coffin. When you go no contact with your abuser, you are the one making the discard. You are the one in control and you are the one calling the shots. You have now just stood up for yourself and told the narcissist that you are not tolerating their abuse any longer. And I don't want you guys to send these messages to them saying that. I don't want you to talk to them. I don't want you to text them. No emails, no social media. Do not tell them we're done. Because you know who does that? I'll give you a second. It's the narcissist. How many times have you guys heard, I'm done from a narcissist? And they've thrown their little temper tantrums and thrown their hands up in the air and, and let you know that they're walking away from you. That they're discarding you. Only to come back by way of a hoover. By sending you a hey text a couple of weeks later. Later. Guys, you need to be the one to permanently discard the narcissist. You need to take control of the situation. You need to go no contact because you truly are the one that has the power. You are the one that can say no. And it's the only way it's going to happen. If you allow the narcissist to discard you and they try to come back to you and you allow them to come back to you even if it's not coming back to you in a, a full-on relationship but um, just keeping you on the line so they can text you when they want they can get a little supply for, from you they're still abusing you and you can't heal because you're gonna hold on to hope that you're gonna get back together and that things are gonna be okay so you are the only one in this relationship that has the power to discard someone by going no contact and by blocking them. That discard will be permanent because you are in control of it. The narcissistic discard is never permanent. They might go days and weeks and months and even years before you hear from them again. So it'll seem permanent. But trust me, they will come back if there is a door open, a crack for them to weasel their little weaselly butts back in. I told you guys before how my ex tried to hoover me on words with friends. I had gone no contact with him. I had blocked him by text, by social media, email, everything. He had no way to get a hold of me. So I actually don't know how many attempts were made up until the words with friends. That was the one um, little crack that I missed because I didn't even think of him trying to attempt to contact me through that. But he did. And that was three months later. And of course, as soon as I got that uh, game request, I just declined it and blocked him there too. And you 
I'm going to tell you from my experience how satisfying that is, how much power that gives you, and how much self-esteem, how much confidence, how much growth you gain from not succumbing to the narcissist's Hoover attempts. When you stand on your own two feet, you get a rush of power and encouragement from yourself that allows you to go even further. And the more you do, the stronger you get and the easier it becomes. So yes, the beginning of no contact, that beginning, that discard that you're going to make is very difficult. I'm not saying it's not hard, but you have to have willpower and you have to really want it because the only other option is to stay in a cycle of abuse. That's your, you have two options, guys. Stay in a cycle of abuse or leave and stand on your own two feet. You might wobble a little bit, you might sway, but you're gonna keep standing and you're gonna walk forward. And what better, think of it riding a bike. If you're sitting on a bike and you're sitting still, you're gonna, you're gonna waver. But if you pedal forward and you get that momentum going and you gain some speed, look how fast you go, look how straight you go. You're upright and you're going forward. That metaphor cannot be any more ideal to what it is like when you leave an abusive relationship. Don't look backwards and don't sit still. Just go forward. There might be bumps in the road. You might not see what's ahead of you, but that's okay. You know what? You have steering wheel. You can steer out of the path of speed bumps and hurdles. Or you might bump them, fall off the bike, scrape your knee, but you'll get back on. Guys, I'm not going to put you through any more pain with this horrible voice of mine, but I just wanted to make a quick video for you to let you know you're in control. No contact, and the discard is up to you, not the narcissist. Take your control back. Okay, guys, I love you all. If you don't already subscribe, please subscribe now. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Narcoway. Okay, see you in the next video.